Hello everyone, today I'm excited to present a review of a budget-friendly yet impressive M2 NVMe SSD from Adata with a generous 2TB capacity. The model in question is the Adata Legend 800 Gold. This drive stands out as one of the most affordable NVMe SSDs in its class. At the moment, the 2TB version is priced at around $110, making it an attractive option for those seeking high capacity without breaking the bank. The package includes a small heatsink for cooling, but its thinness raises concern about its overall effectiveness. Nevertheless, we'll see how it performs during testing. The Legend 800 Gold supports the PCIe Gen 4x4 interface, but it's fully backward compatible with PCIe Gen 3x4, which ensures versatility across a range of systems. It complies with the NVMe 1.4 protocol and operates on a reliable Silicon Motion SM2267G controller. According to the specifications, the drive should deliver up to 3500 megabyte per second for reading and up to 2800 megabit per second for writing. Performance figures will put to the test shortly. Despite its impressive speeds, power consumption is kept at a modest 5 watts. The SSD uses 3D TLC memory, which features triple level cells, providing excellent data density and reliability. Furthermore, it includes SLC caching, enhancing data transfer speeds for smaller, more frequent bursts of data. On the drive's PCB, you'll find four memory chips likely 512GB each, and a aforementioned silicon motion controller. One of the standout features of this SSD is its endurance. Rated at an impressive 1200TBW, terabytes written, a significant advantage for those who require longevity from their storage solution. Let's install the drive into our test system and put it through its paces. The test system is the 2021 Lenovo Legion 5 laptop, which is limited to the PCIe Gen 3x4 interface, but that shouldn't prevent the drive from reaching its peak performance. Initially, I opted to use the included heatsink, though its size didn't inspire much confidence. For comparison, the heatsink on the Adata XPG S50 Lite is significantly thicker, which suggests better heat dissipation. If you're interested, I'll provide a link to my full review and benchmark of the XPG S50 Lite in the description. After installing a new SSD in the laptop, since it was replacing the original one that contained an operating system, I quickly recovered my Windows 10 from an image that I have made before. It was very convenient because it only took 10 minutes to recover the original operating system that this laptop came with. I also have another video how to do that, so if you're interested, follow the link in the description. This will make your life a lot easier when you need to restore your Windows from any crash or simply when you need to just copy it and recover it on another drive. Testing will be conducted using the popular benchmarking tool Crystal Disk Mark 8. As you can see from the results, the performance is quite solid, although the read speed falls shortly short of the advertised 3500 megabit per second. On the right side, the drive meets its specification without issue. Now to better understand the test results, let's briefly go over the testing modes used in Crystal Disk Mark. SEQ1M 8QT1 this is a sequential test that reads or writes large blocks of data in a linear fashion. It uses 8 queues and 1 thread to simulate multitasking scenarios with large data blocks. This mode shows the SSD's maximum throughput in high demand environments. SEQ1M1Q1T, similar to the previous test, but with only 1 queue and 1 thread. This mode simulates a simpler, more common usage scenario, where operations are executed one after another, typical for tests like copying large video files. R&D 4K Q32T1, this is a random test that measures how the drive handles small, 
four kilobyte blocks of data scattered across the SSD. It uses 32 queues and one thread, simulating scenarios involving high multitasking, such as system tasks and applications that constantly access small files. R&D 4K Q1T1, a similar random test but with only one queue and one thread, representing the most typical usage scenario for SSDs, reading and writing small, scattered blocks of data sequentially without heavy multitasking. This is crucial for evaluating the drive's performance in everyday tasks like OS booting, launching programs, or accessing configuration files. One aspect that concerned me during testing was the operating temperature, which peaked at the rather high 65 degrees Celsius. To address this, I switched to the standard heatsink that came pre-installed in the laptop. This heatsink is significantly larger and covers a wider area, so I was hopeful for better cooling performance. Removing the original thin heatsink was a challenge due to the extremely strong adhesive, and I was worried about damaging the drive during this process. So I wouldn't recommend attaching this heatsink if you're planning to use it with any other heatsinks. After rerunning the test with the larger heatsink, the results were encouraging. Speed differences were negligible, but the maximum temperature dropped to just under 50 degrees Celsius, a 15 degree reduction, quite an improvement. But I wasn't done yet. To further optimize cooling, I decided to apply a Lyard 607 liquid thermal pad. As I suspected, the stock thermal pad wasn't making full contact with the drive, potentially leaving air gaps that hindered heat dissipation. With the Lyard 607 thermal pad and the standard heatsink, I performed the test once more. This time, the temperature didn't exceed 44 degrees. A full 19 degree drop compared to the thin included heatsink. This result was more than satisfying and confirmed the effectiveness of the enhanced cooling setup. In conclusion, should you consider buying this SSD? In my view, the ADATA Legend 800 Gold is an excellent choice if you're looking for a fast, high capacity drive at an affordable price. It delivers strong performance, solid endurance and great value for money. While there are plenty of alternatives on the market, this model strikes a balance between cost and performance that makes it a top contender in its category. Thanks for watching. As usual, if you find this video helpful, please support it with your like. If you're first time to the channel, take a second to click the subscribe button and make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss new upcoming videos. This was Pulsar Tech. Until next time, Take care.